if I started lining this dog, started adding fur onto this dog, let's say that I wanted to give it like more, more long fur, right? I wanted to imply, add more fur onto there, right? Let's say that I just started just drawing in all this fur. Like I'm like, let's say that I was going to turn this into a collie and I'm like, I want to add in every single little bit of fur when I'm lining, I'm going to put it everywhere. Let's pretend, let's say that I can actually draw in the shapes of the fur too. Like I'm just going to start adding lines, lots of fur. It's a very fuzzy, fluffy dog. So I'm just going to add in lots of, lots of these lines, right? Don't do this. <laughs> this is so much. This is way too much, right? A lot of the times when you're drawing in fur, it's a lot easier if you imply the edges of the fur but don't actually draw in every single line. You can add in a couple extra lines to show off that it's fluffier, but it actually looks better if you added less with your lines. Because now this reads a lot better. It has an easier silhouette, has a bit easier to look at, right? It's much simpler. It's much, much simpler, right? It's a much simpler way of drawing. It takes a lot less time, and it also gets the point across a bit better.